Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for the 14th of April, brought to you today by editorial researcher Nina Whittle. In our top news story, a report from the IMS Institute for Healthcare Informatics found that total spending on prescription drugs in the U.S. rose 12.2% to nearly $425 billion in 2015. The increase was driven by the launch of new medicines for cancer and hepatitis C, as well as price increases for older products. The analysis indicated that more than half of the spending growth came from drugs approved within the past two years, with specialty medicines accounting for $151 billion of the total. IMS estimates that U.S. spending on prescription drugs will reach between $610 billion and $640 billion in 2020. In other news, Merck & Co. said it won't proceed with U.S. or European filings for the once-weekly diabetes therapy or mariglipton. The company noted that the decision on the DPP-4 inhibitor was taken for business reasons. In addition, the Drugs for Neglected Diseases Initiative and Farco Pharmaceuticals plan to test a hepatitis C regimen consisting of sofosbuvir and ravidosphere. If approved, Farco has agreed to set the commercial price at $294 or less per treatment course for the drug combination. And finally, Merck KGAA appointed Maya Martinez-Davis as global head of the company's oncology franchise. Martinez-Davis, who takes over from Andrew Schiermeyer, was previously a senior executive with Pfizer. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today.